The primary method for accessing Ascendix RE for Salesforce is via the web browser. Using the global search facility at the top of the screen, we can search for the account record we wish to access. In this case, we'll search for DRA Advisors. Upon getting results set, we click through to the desired record, and we can immediately see on the right-hand side what we call the activity timeline, allowing us to see not only those things that we have planned in the future for DRA, but also those things that have occurred in the past, regardless of who they occurred with and when. If we turn our attention over to the Details tab, we can see specifics related to DRA advisors, including the type of relationship we have, the industry in which they are in, uh, as well as annual revenue, employees, and SIC code. Clicking over to the Related tab, we see other details related to DRA advisors, including any notes that have been taken in the past and contacts that we have related to DRA. In this case, we'll drill into Daniel Goldman's record, a contact associated with DRA advisors. Looking on the right-hand side, we see a similar activity timeline, those things that are going to happen in the future, as well as past conversations and meetings. We see similarly that there is the ability to store notes and the like. If we click over to the Details tab, we can see the relationship that Daniel has with DRA Advisors, his title, email address, phone numbers, etc. We also notice that Daniel has been placed on a holiday card mailing list so as to receive any kind of uh, holiday card announcements come November time frame. And then just below that we see physical address for DRA Advisors up in New York City. Ascendix RE for Salesforce also supports the ability to group like records. In this case, if we click through to the contacts record, we can see a drop down here allowing us to see the various groups that we've created, one of which is the holiday card list, of which we'll have Daniel Goldman along with others included in that particular list. We'll close out this video by adding a new contact to DRA Advisors. So again, We'll do a quick search for that particular account. And going to the related area of that uh, account, we can see the contacts area. It's always good to check to see if there is an existing record, at which point we do not find a record for David Gray. And so we'll click on the New button, at which point we'll get a new contact form. At this point, we'll type in David Gray's contact information and we'll tab out and we'll notice on the right hand side through an integration that we've created with a product called Inside View, a data aggregator of company and contact information in the B2B marketplace that we've found a match for David Gray at DRA Advisors and so we want to leverage that information for a couple of reasons one of which is it speeds up the entry process of records and it also provides us an opportunity to enrich our record with more up-to-date information than we might have had as well as expand the footprint of data that we've had. So in this case we'll click on the fill all button and it populates the the record with the the title, and the email address, and any phone numbers that might be possessed in that database and at that point we click on save and now we've created a new record. The last thing we're going to cover in this video is actually the scheduling of follow-up event for David. And so we go to David's contact record and on the right hand side we see this new event button at which point we go in and schedule that meeting. Follow up call and we'll put that out advance one week's time or actually put that on Friday and we've got the save button here and now we've recorded that particular activity along with David Gray's new contact record inside of the system. That concludes today's uh, recording. Thanks for your time.